What's happening guys? Okay, we are off again. We're heading up to Blanchetown, Morgan, Cadell. Check out what's happening with the floods up there. And on the way through, we will check into a couple of the spots that we went to in last Wednesday's video. Uh, so probably call into Bow Hill, Walker's Flat, uh, Swan Reach, and just check how the water levels are going uh, compared to last week. Uh, what else are we going to do? It's a miserable day. I've got a bit of firewood with me, but I'm not too sure. There is a fair chance I might come straight home. If I do, I'm going to be calling into a pub, maybe the Swan Reach pub, and I'll do a food review there. Uh, I'm a bit knackered. I went out drifting yesterday. Yeah, the old fella was out uh, in his drift car with all the uh, young guys. So, yeah, the old fat geriatric drift guy had a bit of fun out there, but I'm pretty well knackered. I've got this problem where my brain still thinks I'm 18 years of age, so uh, I've got to get that sorted sometime. But uh, I reckon we probably should turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm looking at. And you know what that means. It's time to start the music. So at Bow Hill, just starting to break the bank now. Just made it. And what do we do when we get to the ferry? Always wave to the ferry driver. This is a different one from last week. He looks like he's gonna have a good wave on him. Oops, I'm giving him the wave, there we go. As I've mentioned in other videos, all the ferries along the river are named after birds. And here we have the Boo Book. Never heard of it, but it must be a bird. So this is the camping ground a bit further up, just by the back behind the Walker's Flat General Store. And I think it was Matt was trying to find somewhere to camp in the next month or two and my suggestion would be up in here this is fairly high a lot higher than down the other end where the boat ramp is it might get over here I'm not too sure but if there's a chance of an area where it's not going to come up above the bank I reckon this might be it so that little bit back there on the left Matt I reckon or even just in around here these would be your best chances in a month's time but it might be way up over here but I'll keep my eye on it for you So I'll just go down and check out the Walker's Flat boat ramp. I think it's Jason who's got a shack here. And so 
suggested that the boat ramp is the lowest point at Walker's Flat. So uh, we'll just go and see what's happening there. And this is another good camping area where I've camped before. And uh, Matt, who was looking for a camping spot in December, I think this one will probably be underwater. Out to the right, it's a little bit high. There's a guy camping there at the moment in his bus. That highest bit might stay out, but I'm thinking the road in might get flooded. My suggestion, probably the best chance is the one, one kilometre or it's about a half a kilometre, kilometre upstream, back behind the general store. That looks like it's a bit higher than here, but uh, that'll be your best chance. But I'll keep my eye out for it. I'll check it again in about three or four weeks' time and let you know what's happening. A couple of people still camping here. That caravan up ahead there is where I camped last time, probably about eight or nine weeks ago. Great little spot in there. And people usually camp in under these trees too. toilet block up there and you can see how high the water is up I'll try and find some photos from when I camped here whenever it was and so we can do a comparison so here's that fourth post that we checked out last time probably got 30 centimeters poking out remember what it was last week but uh, we'll go back and check the video and I'll get a photo of it again that current really pushing the ferry downstream you can see the wash coming out from the right hand side there so here's that first shack at Swan Reach thought it might have been a bit higher than that um, I'll put a screenshot up of what it was like a week ago. And the track leading down to those last few shacks is now all flooded. There's a semi-trailer down there with a bobcat up on the back of it. Pretty sure I'll be getting that out of there quick smart. So the table at Swan Reach boat ramp still just showing. So this is where I was moored up at Morgan. Can't quite remember which side of that tree I was, but I'm pretty sure I was back in there. And I was tied up to these posts and maybe that tree over there as well. And maybe that tree, so. That tree was on the bank definitely back about 30 metres from where the water is now. I'll try and do some screenshots of when I was here with the houseboat but walked right through here, had a video of the Murray Princess mooring up just out there and this is usually where the, I think it's the Canali paddle boat that they've been doing up is usually moored so I've shifted that on. Water's definitely come up tons more here than downstream at the moment. Shacks the other side, or houses, still okay at this stage.
behind this ferry is called the Coot. Obviously another bird that I've never heard of. Reminds me of the Fakari bird. The South African bird used to jump up and down the long grass saying, where the fuck are we? Where the fuck are we? Sorry about that. So this is the shacks on the eastern side at Morgan and downstream from the ferry. Already you can see up ahead there, that road is flooded out and closed. There's a bit of backwater here behind the shacks and there's a couple of tracks back there that are already covered up. This one you can still get through. So this is backwaters and the river is straight in front at the boat ramp. And you come down about 150 metres and it's fully blocked off flooded out I think I've got a my mate Ben Franks's shack might be down this way okay I'm a daredevil and she's definitely flooded up in there And here we are, Blanchetown, Lock 1. The Pelicans are back. Fairly sure last time we were here, there weren't many Pelicans. So the fish are back. So if you haven't seen one of my videos before, this is one of the, I think it's 12 locks, weirs and locks up the River Murray to control the height of the water. The section down here is the lock, so usually going upstream, so downstreams to the right, upstreams to the left. You can see the water flowing down, and usually you'll go into the lock, and you've got to be, they pump water into it, and you've probably got to go up maybe a metre, two metres, to get to the water level to keep continuing upstream. But with the floods, she's all opened up, and that first section over there, They've opened right up so you don't have to use the lock at all. Boats can just go straight through. You can see that triangle on the end of the lock. Triangle stay to your right on the way upstream. And squares to your left. And opposite on the way back down. I like a good windmill. Just go and check underneath the bridge. There's a marina underneath the bridge or just underneath an upstream a touch. boat ramp down here so this would have been where the old ferry used to be before they had a bridge You can see it across the other side as well.
bit of old river boat over there. I think this track will all be flooded out in the next couple of weeks. So here's Swanerich Pub for tea tonight. Fisherman's basket, looking pretty good. Be back in a minute, we're gonna do the snap test with the fish. But uh, overall, looks pretty good. Got the river in the background. So not too sure how I'm going to do the snap test one handed, but we'll give it a crack. Oh, it snapped pretty good. Snapped the wrong way, but that was a good snap. Looking good. Okay, how many times have I said okay? I haven't counted. Um, food review, Swan Reach Pub, Fisherman's Basket, all a bit bland. Started out good when I looked at it with the snap test with the fish, but then it fell down pretty quick. 7.2, that's my review. That's going to finish this one off, guys. I've decided I'm going to shoot home. I've got tomorrow off. I can start the editing for Wednesday tonight, and I've got heaps to do around the house, so I should catch up with that stuff. And we'll catch you guys next week when, at this stage, I'm going to be going to Wakery and Loxton again. We'll start checking out what's happening up there. So uh, catch you guys next week. See ya.